Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijou Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful summer flowers Hitchol style earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button because in this way you will be inspired often with my new videos, usually twice a week, and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. If you're not new here, you could definitely skip this intro and um, go to the work itself because now I have timestamps, but I have just a few words to say. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be expecting pictures of your works on my Facebook and Instagram pages, whatever you choose. I will be so happy to see your creations and post them on my community tab on YouTube. And thank you so much for liking, sharing and commenting. You don't know how much of a support this is. And you could check my second channel with the fast clips, also link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads and they are yellow, orange and black. Here I'm using earring findings in this beautiful old gold color. You could use silver or other color of your choice. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up first are 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay and I have 12 here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. When you pull make sure you are between those two beads where you started your knot from otherwise you will need to start over. Okay so now this is what I have on my needle. And now I'm going to pick up two yellows, one orange and two yellows okay this is what i have on my needle you see and as i'm exiting from this black here i'm skipping the one that's on my way and i'm going through the following you see my thread is exiting here out of this one i'm skipping this one and i'm going through the third one okay now i have this and then i'm going to pick up two yellows one orange, two yellows. And then again the same thing. I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the one that comes next. And again the same sequence. Skip the next one and go through the following. Okay. And now guys I need to do this three more times until the end. Okay, and pay attention where I go here through this first black bead that I started the whole process from. If it was too fast for you, you could always slow down the video or rewind. Okay, so now in my next step, I'm going here through these two yellow beads and I'm going to take the same sequence as before, two yellows, an orange and two yellows. Okay, I have this and I'm skipping the one here that's sticking out the most, the orange one, and I'm going through the following yellow. Okay, then I take just one black bead and I go from the inside to the outside 
through this yellow that is next to the orange or between those two yellows here that are from one side of my petal okay then again the same sequence skip the orange and go through the yellow one black go like this then again two yellows one orange and two yellows go here one black go here same sequence And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step I will do a similar thing. I'm going here through these two yellow beads next to the orange. You see my thread is exiting out of this bead and I'm going to take the same sequence as before. Okay, here it is. Skip the orange and go through the first yellow. And now I'm going to take an orange, a black and an orange. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going here in this last yellow bead, which is next to the orange. Now I have this. And I'm going to repeat it. Two yellows, one orange, two yellows. Go through the first yellow here from the outside to the center then orange black and orange and go through the last yellow okay and then again the same sequence go here like this and orange black orange and go here like this okay guys and i'm going to continue this off camera if you forgot how i'm doing it rewind and repeat this part from here okay see you in a while okay guys and here i am at my last step and pay attention where i go here through this yellow bit okay and i pull and then in my next step what I do is that I go again in this direction and guess what I'm taking absolutely the same sequence two yellows orange and two yellows okay I have this I skip the orange and I go here through the yellow like this then what I take are two orange beads I go through the central black bead here, just like that. Then again, I take two orange beads and I go through the last yellow. Okay. Then I take two yellows, orange and two yellows. Okay, this is what I have. I go here like this. In the same place and then to orange go through the black again two orange beads go through the yellow and then two yellows one orange and two yellows 
go through this yellow and I'm going to continue this guys until the end it is absolutely the same things I add two yellows orange two yellows and then two orange beads here and connect the yellow beads with the black bead in the center okay i will continue this and meet you here if you forgot how i'm doing it rewind and see it okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last two orange beads from this row just like this and what i do is that i go in this direction and now I'm going to do something differently. This time I'm going to add five orange beads. Okay, I have here five orange beads instead of two yellows, orange, two yellows. And this is at my last step. And I go in the same place, keep the orange and go through the following yellow. Now I need three orange beads like this. And I'm going in this orange here like this and then i'm gonna go in the next orange okay here i think you could guess what i'm taking three orange beads and i go in the last yellow then i'm going to take five orange beads five skip the orange at the top go through the yellow like this take three orange beads again go here in the orange then go in the neighbor orange only through the first one of the neighbor oranges and take three and then go in the yellow and guess what you should take five orange beads okay five skip the orange here go like this and then take three okay then go in the next orange okay guys and i will continue this until the end and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you how this row finishes and how to continue okay guys and here i am at my last step of this row I pay attention where i go at this yellow like this and now i will make the last row of my work in order to do this i'm going through four of those beautiful orange beads that are on my way you see where i'm exiting i'm going through the top bit and through the next as well and what i need to take are three seed beads and i go here in this bead and in the following okay i'm going here through these two like this now i'm taking one black bead and I'm going in the next orange then I will also go through the following orange and I'm going to take three seed beads of this beautiful orange color and I'm going here in this orange skipping the top and skipping the next bead here then I take three And I go here, not through the first, but through the second orange and through the one after that. I'm exiting here at this gap and I want to take one black bead to fill it. Okay. And I'm taking it and I'm going through these two orange beads in this direction. Okay. Here I have one petal ready. And I'm going to take three beads 
and as I'm exiting here I'm going through this orange bit then I skip the top and I skip the following bit just like this and I'm going to take three more beads okay then I go through these two beads skip this one and go through two take one black and go through this one then go through the following and then again take three okay and go here one bit away from the top bit and now guys repeat 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 until the end and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and what i'm going to do is exit here at the top and now what i want to take is my earring finding and i take one black bead my earring finding and one more of those beautiful black beads okay this is what i have on my needle and as i'm exiting through this top bead here i'm going back in circle like this now i have this and i'm going to reinforce Okay, and when I'm ready reinforcing, I will find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, let's say I'm making my knot here. How I do this, I make a loop, I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull. Then I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread. And now my summer flowers Hicho style earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week, and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.